Yo, what's up, friends? We're gonna be watching this video. Lily Barrow is more overpowered than you think. And we got some homies in the Discord. It do be like that. Mm -hmm. Always gotta have the homies. So we're looking at uh, one of these videos. It's by Clyde. So my expectations are very low. Uh, no dig at Clyde, but Clyde be having back takes. So it is what it is, bro. We'll correct you, though, Clyde. We'll correct you. Don't worry, buddy. We'll, we'll save you. We'll save yeah. you, buddy. Yes. Yeah. Uh, sure. being just around also, I got a good idea days. for what we should name this video. What? <laughs> Did Clyde actually read Bleach? Away from his return. The, <laughs> the Army oh. to to We don't. Hey, hey, this video could be heat. Both Shut the fuck up. We don't know yet. First appear in the 1000 year blood war arc of Bleach. Oh, God. Their aesthetic, fighting styles. Oh, I can't hear it. Oh, you can't? God dang, bro. I can. Oh. No, bro, I can. I can. Bruh. Pride will try to fuck us up. Hey, yo, Pride, we need to leave and rejoin. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. Names of their attacks and how powerful they are. But atop these. Deadass, I need to make a video on the Stern Redder or just being like, hey, bro, the thousand year blood war scales way higher. Than I, I don't know. I don't know what type of video to do. It's just to say that the Stern Redder would solo the fucking verse up to that point. To the lost stage in our deal would fucking murk the verse. God dang. God dang. These Quincy are a special group of four. A special group whose entire goal is to protect the elite guard of Yuha Bark. Characters so powerful that if you drop them into another anime world as a team, with ease they would clear out a lot of series. The Soul Society or can clear out lots of series. <laughs> I don't think that's such a mistake. The Soul Society or can sell a lot of these series, no cap. <laughs> Today I'll be focusing on one of my personal favorite Quincy's, Lily Barrow. Letter X of the Stern Ritter, the one who wields the power of the X axis, the one closest to God. If you're a fan of Bleach, please hit that like button and subscribe if you want more videos like this from me. If um, if you make the quality better, I'll subscribe. If you show How about my that? channel support, I'll keep making the <laughs> videos for Bleach. You don't especially know. as the anime rolls on. Uh, Another thing right too, Maybe he hasn't watching the video mad. until the very end. Hmm, perhaps. It actually helps me out a lot, so if you do that, it... Don't worry, Clyde, we'll watch it to the end. Don't worry. ...would mean a lot. It's the best way to help my videos grow. Interestingly, when the Elite Guard of Yuha Bark first enter the Soul Palace to fight the Zero Division, they do extremely well, with Nehemiah being the main source of conflict to stop them in their tracks. No, they don't. They just... What? No, they fuck they don't. <laughs> <laughs> you mean the you mean the fake zero squad that they were fighting to stall for time i'm confused bro no what are you talking about bro stop it <laughs> stop it i believe as readers we can all agree that mr kubo definitely missed the mark by not having longer more drawn out individual battles between the elite guard of the stern ritter and the zero division because when initially presented with the idea that the Zero Division was stronger than the Ghost E13 as they were revealed, which is described at the beginning of the war arc, this idea falls flat pretty fast and seems to sway more so 60% Ichibe, 25% Nimaya, and the remaining 15% to the rest. And no. That's Wait. not even in its portrayal or anything like that. But regardless of that, we can agree that the Zero Squad should have done more, but... Nimaya just pulling up and negging the entirety of the Royal Guard, which is stronger than all these other niggas, is fucking insane as shit. Like, let's not let's not downplay that shit. Let's not downplay <laughs> that Nimaya this man just kills all of them in one shot. Does it mean Maya have like the sharpest Sampakto in this fucking one shot them? Yeah, he literally yeah. he literally one shots all of them. Except for asking, he two shots them. Yeah, mm -hmm. then you have like I me, mean, Maya say, yeah, well, I saw Pacto's just too sharp to put in a sheath. Literally, that could mean bro. a lot of things. Like that means like a lot of other Sam Pacto, like even Yamamoto's would be like dull in comparison. Oh, crazy! Sure, sure. Uh, our boy right here. 
out here pulled up. Soy phone just got blitzed. Like, that's cool, you know. Soy phone pretty fast. Yeah, man, you know. Our boy Shitara just pulling up, just went into Mayuri's lab, just stole. <laughs> just was doing all kinds of shit. Like, hey, very heat. Ichibe obviously dogging you, haul. That nigga one shot fucking Yamamoto. So, <laughs> and makes a cage, traps them all. So I'm like, hey, pretty good. Could have been better though. We can agree. But I don't. Hey, I, I'm gonna need the disrespect to stop, bro. I'm gonna need the cap to stop. Though I will give Senjimaru some credit as she did give. I hope the anime does her justice. Yeah. If you actually look at uh, Thirteen Blades and the translations for stuff, uh, the ranking and power should be one Ichibe. Number two is either um, Fat Lady or Shutara. Then a fourth would be Nimaya and then Tendra. That should be like that's what it seems to be, like from what we're getting. Cause um he can't fight anybody in the Zero Squad. So either he's the strongest after Ichibe or he's the weakest. Chutara negs the person that was just redirecting his stuff. So she should be above. Her slaps are painful. Yeah. And also just that strong. And they also like uh build up to her cage so it's like well should be probably behind ichibe then her then nimaya but yeah neonzo weisel a very quick exit from the story as nimaya tangos with gerard valkyrie lily baro penida and asuka nakliva he explains that his sword is so sharp that it needs to be placed into a gel filled box as no sheath can contain the sword Nimaya says that this blade is a one-shot kill, and basically does this against Gerard, Lily, Panida, and then the unkillable Asgun. After having some success against the invading- Why do you call Asgun the unkillable one, instead of these other guys? Stern Ritter, Yuhabak uses the Oshvalen Light to return the powers the Elite Guard had shared amongst the other Isn't Stern Ritter- Gerard the unkillable the one? Yeah, you would think he would say that for Gerard and not Asgun. Because Gerard literally needs to be killed by the Ash Wallen and Askin just gets killed. But hold on, what did he say? After having some success against the invading Stern Ritter, Yuhabak uses the Oshvalen Light to return the powers the Elite Guard had shared amongst the. No. Wait, the Elite what? Guard did not share their power. This is a <laughs> redistribution of power, which the Yuha redistributes it between these elite guards and by taking from the goons that's what happens it's not the elite guard had x power and then they gave it away no the other stern ritter and in the next page nehemiah who could cut lily Barrow's shots before has now had his entire shoulder eviscerated lily Barrow then describes that the reason his shots were ineffective against the barrier around them prior to this and why they could originally be cut in two by Nehemiah was because they were not using the power of the X-axis. What makes this interesting is that Lily Barrow shot down multiple of the illusionary cities that the Zero Division had prepared in advance, and had complete confidence that his bullets could shoot them all down if they were real, then found out they were fake, and this was before having his power returned to himself by Yuha Bark. Lily Barrow states that when he What does that even mean? <laughs> what does that even mean, bro? <laughs> Also for this, yeah, he was, he just wasn't using the X axis. I'm like, I, I don't know what you're trying to hype up here, because you you say a lot of nothing. Like, yeah, he uses the X axis and his shoulder is blown out. Like, I don't know why you mentioned this. It's because he didn't use the X axis. Confused, kind of. Next page, Nehemiah, who could cut Lily Barrow's shots before, has now had his entire shoulder eviscerated. Lily Barrow then describes that the reason his shots were ineffective against the barrier around them prior to this, and why but, the yeah, let me go back real, forward. Lily Barrow states that when he fires his sniper rifle, known as Diagram, that there is no projectile fire between the barrel and what it's aimed at. You might recall that when Uryu knocked Ichigo off of the Soul Palace, it appears Lily Barra fired a shot at Ichigo to guarantee his death, as Uryu's plan of letting him fall to his death was suspect to Lily. When rereading these chapters, I notice that he doesn't fire one of the shots he did against Nimaya, but instead he fires a normal arrow to finish him off. That's 
that's not what happens. He doesn't shoot. He sets it up. That's Uryu's bow right there. Lele didn't shoot. I know what you want to say. They can't possibly survive the fall. Even if they did, they have no means of getting back up. However, if you killed them before the fall, such a premise would be unnecessary. That's why you believe uh why you believe is best for his majesty, correct? But as you can see right here, hold up. Let's let's zoom in, Clyde. What are you doing, buddy? Uh come on. Bro, I'm just trying to zoom. Knees, bro. As you no <laughs> stop. All right, fuck. Go go up. Nah, God damn. I hate YouTube right now, bro. I hate YouTube. Okay, hell yeah. As you can see, this arrow is not coming from this muzzle right here. Lele is not shooting, and Lele's uh, arrows also don't look like that. They look like bullets, as we see with Nehemiah. Uh, where, where did you show the skin? As we see right here, like from how that's drawn, that looks like a bullet. No, that is not how Lele's uh, arrows look. So no, multiple reasons why that's wrong. But instead he fires a normal arrow to finish him off. Or does he? If you take an even closer look at this page, you'll Notice there is an extra line drawn on the page next to his sniper, signifying that Udyu fired another arrow to convince Lily and the others that he was loyal to them by finishing off Ichigo, while also giving Ichigo the ability to catch his arrow and pretend to be hit, because he wouldn't be able to stop Lily by his x-axis round from hitting him. Very quick thinking from Udyu. As I stated by name before, Diagram is his bow or high level- Lily wouldn't have been able to affect Ichigo regardless if he shot it or not. And there's nothing to say this arrow was meant to just be caught by Ichigo, not just Uryu. shot by Uryu. So. As I stated by name before, Diagram is his bow or high level bow. Why is this so zoomed in? He can even regenerate the barrel of said sniper and fight with it at both close range and afar. Mm. Although the barrel is removed multiple in. times, this. Hmm? I thought you zoomed in. Doesn't nope. stop him at all. Like, it just what? pixelated for no reason. I'm like, I don't know why it's like that. Close range and afar. Okay. Although the barrel is removed multiple times, this doesn't stop him at all in combat. With his diagram, he can one-shot basically anyone except Shunsue, as Shunsue traps him in his Shikai's game called Doruma-san Ga Koronda, which is described as being quite similar to Red Light. Like what did he say? Except Shunsue at all in combat. With his diagram, he can one-shot basically anyone except Shunsue. Nope. Uh, Shunsui keeps complimenting his speed, and he gets blitzed a few times. Sure he can. Along with it. Hmm? I said sure he can. It, why did they send like uh, what's his name, the sniper against like Ichibe? He could have just one shot him. That's the only person he can't one shot is Shunsui. Uh, but uh, there's a even the other like uh, stern runner. Like the elite guard, like Lily can't just one shot them. He would lose to Pernida, he would lose to Gerard. Like, that wouldn't really work like that. He claims Lily Barra is the first to properly dodge his shadow on the first try, inherently making his base form faster than even Resurrection Coyote Stark, who has some very impressive speed feats and is complimented as having one of the fastest. <laughs> who cares about <laughs> fucking Stark, nigga? <laughs> fucking Stark? <laughs> That ass, bro. Why don't you bro. reference? Hold up, bro. Why doesn't this nigga reference our boy Shunsui boxing up Yamamoto in the Regai? His Regai boxing up Yamamoto. Why don't we reference that, bro? That shit was heat. It was heat, bro. It was heat. What's the thing? Yamamoto isn't an Aran car, and you can't compare Yamamoto to Ukiora, which we can compare Stark to. Interesting. Sonidos of all Espada. One of the reasons why I wanted to list this in the video is because Shunsui in particular is extremely adept at using Shunpo and Yamamoto is even impressed by how fast and how far he can travel in a single step. Not only was this a big deal in the Soul Society arc, but part of this is demonstrated when Shunsui locates Lilibara from afar, travels to him, and Lily can still avoid all attacks at close range and return fire, wounding him greatly. From what I can tell also, 
Lilibara did not use Hidden Kyaku, the Quincy version of Shunpo, in any of these exchanges, which is super impressive. The power of the X axis. Lilibara admits he is holding. Mm. Yeah, I guess, but Shunsui doesn't use Shinpo besides that one time, so I'm like, very weird, like, why you're mentioning that? The power of the X-axis. Lilibara admits he is holding back his ability to passively always be intangible. Just like how his sniper rounds can penetrate anything, he himself can penetrate objects coming into contact with his body like Zanpak toe, arrows, and anything else that may physically harm him. By using the quintessence of the x-axis, which is activated by him opening his left eye, he becomes intangible. He claims he does not usually open his left eye as it is unfair to sinners. The one granted power first by his majesty, his majesty's masterpiece, the one closest to God. To have his eyes opened a third time in battle is utterly unacceptable. If you notice when reading this fight, there are a lot of artistic design choices made by Mr. Kubo in relation to eyes. Lilibara's closed eye is opposite to Shunsui's wounded eye. Shunsui's Asushi has the same eye covered up as himself. And the Asushi of Nana'o Zanpak Toh has the opposite of Shunsui and his Asushi. Alongside this, there is a consistent theme about viewing God's light, eyes being dried out from looking at sinners, and Lilibara even being defeated by his own light being reflected at himself. Ironic, right? An underlying narrative of good versus evil. The sinner versus the do-gooder. Fun little fact too, you might have noticed I said Lilibara was the first Quincy to be bestowed power by Yuha Bark, even though the manga page on the screen stated he was the last. Well, this is due to a translation error which Viz has yet to change in the official online English release. It makes me wonder what else they've mistranslated, as even while reading the manga myself, I found things like this. This would explain why the mistranslated as even while reading the manga myself, I found things like this. Uh -oh. This would explain why the Mukin is so inconsistently translated as infinite, then almost infinite various times. No shade on Viz, by the way. I'm sure it's a fantastic company, and I'm sure the people there actually do care about Bleach, but these kind of errors cannot continue to happen. Unlike most of the other Quincy, Lilibara actually has more than one transformation. After his X-Axis ability is properly explained to Shunsui, Lily transforms into his Volstendig and falls into the same fate as Zomari. Not exactly a pumpkin, but yeah. From dripped out and honestly pretty clean looking with his sniper, to these two forms. Although the X-Axis may be one of my favourite Quincy's, I won't pretend I like these designs, though the point of said designs is more so intended to signify, again, more direction towards a battle of biblical messages, as if you're familiar with the real depictions of angels in the Bible, their designs are more inhuman and frankly scary mm. looking, rather than yep. some beautiful <laughs> Aryan looking individual with white wings. And thus explains Back why Lilibara's designs mm. look so weird in both transformations. What Very heat. Arceus type beat. Once in his first form, he starts to teleport oh, around the battlefield in a similar manner to Admiral Kazara from One Piece, and his intangibility has become so useful that even Keto-based attacks have no effect. While in this form, known as Divine Judgment, he can shoot his X-axis rounds multiple times at once and has much more variety of light-oriented attacks. Light mm -hmm. of Judgment, Light of Purity, Trumpet of Light, Light Beams, Light Rounds, and can light up the darkened sky of Shonsui's Bankai. This could also be more impressive than it seems, as it appears Shonsui's Bankai is dictating the darkness in the space around them, not blocking out a hypothetical star. It's a little more complicated than it seems. He is also able to what? It seems as light up the darkened sky of what Shonsui's a hypothetical Bankai. Star. This could also be more Bro. impressive than it seems, as it appears Shonsui's Bankai is dictating the darkness in the space around them, not blocking out a hypothetical star. It dictates what? it around them? Not blocking out a hypothetical star. Is he, is he saying it's a conceptual ability? No, I don't think. No, that's not what he's saying. Like, <laughs> so confusing. I guess he's thing. saying that, like, he's <laughs> not. I guess he's saying he's not just covering a sky. He's just using his hacks to like do that. So Lily, like, uh, well, Lily says, like shining a it. Hypothetical star. Jesus. So you might like, be seeing the star in the small society is like not real. They wait, what did you say? Repeat that, my bad. 
I said he could be saying like the star in the Soul Society isn't real since he says hypothetical star. Uh, this is the Soul Palace, but I get what um, you're saying. But um, I don't think he's saying that because that's just stupid. But um, I as for I this, said, Lele oh. doesn't uh light up the sky. Like that's not what happens. Kubo just doesn't draw the background. Like that's and then you see it like boom. Like he's not he didn't light up anything, he just did a boom. He just did an attack. Like I don't I don't remember any scene he ever lights up this uh <laughs> The sky. Kai is dictating the darkness in the space around them, not blocking out a hypothetical star. It's a little more complicated than it seems. He is also able to fly in the sky where flight is not possible for Shinigami, further showing he is one with light and doesn't really follow the conventional laws of bleach that many other characters obey. With his body, he can also. No. I'm pretty sure it's directly said that the reason they can't is because uh, it's under the enemy's domain. I'm pretty sure that's the given reason. Hold up. Uh, da, da, da. Is Cloud just lying here? Well, I think he's just gotten a few things just blatantly wrong so far. Uh, let's see, 623. No, not here. Should be close, honestly. Like, what, 25? Where are you looking for this? I have a question. Which Quincy has the most strip? The most drip Quincy? That's a hard question. I'm not that OG, bro. The drippiest Quincy? Fuck. Bro, we're gonna need to look at all the Quincy, bro. I don't have a solid answer for that just off the bat. I'm not that OG. Okay. Maybe, maybe we should make a video where we uh, look how at the Quincy <laughs> and see who has some of drip. Look, probably Yuha. I mean, Yuha's all must... black as heat, bro. Yeah, okay. I know. He's, yeah. he's drippy. Okay, yeah, here it is. Uh, it's difficult to create a footing of reishi here, so it's not uh, it's not impossible to fly. I'm sure you're feeling it too, but the de reishi density and Ryoka's uh, atmosphere is quite high. We'd ordinarily be able to create a footstep uh, with this kind of density, saying that they can. There can only be one reason we can't. The reishi in this entire area are under their control. No. Doesn't really follow the conventional laws of bleach that many other characters obey. With his body, he can also regenerate to some extent and conform his body into weird shapes. It should also be a compliment to Shunsui that he can yeah. continuously avoid these light based attacks, and Lily Barrow has to. <laughs> here, man. <laughs> Acting like light speed and impressive. It's 2022, bro. Stop it. <laughs> this nigga is fast as what? Hold up, bro. Hold up, bro. Hold up, bro. We, we got some. So is Lele just as fast as Ichinose? Hold up. Let's 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 do this. Hold up. Ichinose versus Kenpachi. Or uh Ichigo actually. Hold up. I think Ichigo. It. Ichinose versus co clashes with Ichigo. Okay, it might be in this one. Fuck. We're not trying to get hit with no uh, uh, fucking strike. So we got to be careful, buddies. We got to be uber careful. Where the fuck is this nigga Ichinose? Hey. Right. Why are you Ichigo stopping at Saro? Aren't both they'd be like white? Huh? Yeah. Doesn't matter. That's not what I'm saying right now. I'm. I'm bringing up this nigga right here because he has a light base on Pacto. Flashing. You know what? Uh, we hope we don't get straight. We hope. This is what we hope. Fix all things invisible when it signs. Hold up. Look at this. This nigga literally that's that's your cheer literally just outspeeding like bro. 
this scene right here, like uh, she has a running scene, but she literally just outspeeds it, bro. <laughs> she outspeeds yeah. light, bro. She literally outruns light. Well, I guess she's like comparable to Thousand Year Blood War, uh, Shunsri, since she can outrun light and he can dodge light. No, oh, <laughs> shut up. Shut up. Across the battlefield to eventually catch him, as Shunsui is trying to move far away to activate Bunkai no because he believes he will die. Honestly, it was just bad luck that of all Shinigami, Lilibaro had to face one of the most game-busting hacks Bonkai's in the series that is basically a guaranteed death if you're trapped within it. Along with that, Shunsui is also a prodigy who even Gemurusai Yamamoto had respect for, enough respect to make him the head captain. But even still, okay. he survived all stages of the Bonkai, the execution slash, transformed, and was then forced to face a Zumpak toe that was basically made to combat individuals like himself. If he was fighting without ego and stopped yapping about how he's holy and likes being referred to as God, he could have easily teleported across the battlefield and murdered Nanao in a single strike. In fact, he could have did the same to Shunsui here. It's still very frustrating that Yuhabak didn't assist Lilibara or the Miracle. Having Lilibara healed and not absorbing the Miracle would have essentially made those three unstoppable together. If what? you want a video on the Miracle, you should... They'll make them unstoppable together? No, these niggas are garbage. These niggas are trash. We literally have... Okay. Okay, let, let's put it like this, right? So, Gerard, right? Gerard is stronger than Lele, stronger than Pernida, and stronger than Askin. He's the strongest. All right, cool. So, Gerard fights uh, Kenpachi. Uh, I patchless Kenpachi. Then he fights Bonkai Kenpachi. All right, cool. Coolio, Coolio. He also fights Biakia. He also fights Toshiro. All right, cool. Now we have Can't Fear Your Own World six months afterwards. All right, cool. These niggas have six months. Niggas still training. All this shit, right? Boom. They still weaker than Yama. Shikayama. Who's weaker than Bonkayama? Who's weaker than Ichibe? Like, come on, bro. Stop it. Stop it. Unstoppable. SMH. Would have essentially made those three unstoppable together. If you want a video on the miracle... You I don't know why you would be mentioning as well uh, Lele instead of Pernida. I, I know this is the Lele video, but Lele just does does not stack up the Pernida or asking. You should definitely... It is what it is. He'll just lose the both of them. Let me know below and like this video. Even after being cleansed nope. into many pieces of light by Nanao's god-slaying royal household Zumpak Toe that looks like the paddle from The Simpsons, Lilibara then turns into weird light bird things that land in the Soul Society, and these birds are still strong enough to spam light shots and claim, although they've been weakened extremely and lost their shrift powers, they still have the confidence to wipe everything out as a way to get back at Shunsui. Though his intangibility... Izuru literally just like, man, Izuru nags these niggas. Stop it. ...ability and x-axis rounds are now gone, his power is still so impressive that he can easily break through the barrier of the Soul Society and cause extreme damage when he lands. If this feat is in fact true, Lilibara in his most weakened state is as lethal to the Soul Society as Volstendig Bambietta and Gremmy's Meteor. It would also be consistent with his city destroying- What? <laughs> the city destroying what? No, so, no, no, no. hold up, hold up, hold up, bro. If you're just talking about this, right? My boy, the Owen. So my boy, Toshiro and Kusaka and Mask Ichigo, bro, can destroy the entirety of the Serete. Stop it, bro. Dark Rukia, threat to the Serete. Stop it, bro. I for a few minutes. Uh, what did I miss? Uh, he's saying that Lele, like, uh, falling and breaking the barrier to the, like, uh, to the Serite is impressive. And, like, it's as impressive as, like, Bambi and, like, uh, Grammy's Meteor. And I'm is, like... Is Bambi even that strong with Quincy? Um... She's, like, mid-tier. The barrier. Like, she's not, she's not a high-tier or a god-tier for the Quincy's. Yeah. But, um, uh, he's so strong, he has a comparable feat to a mid tier Quincy. No, he also does mention Grammy, but like, 
just using the Serite itself isn't good. Because the fucking Owen can destroy the Serite. Like, Karya... Karya with his shits were gonna, can destroy the Serite. Like, fucking Dark Rookie has a threat to the Serite. Like... <laughs> It's not the Sarate is not so good. Were the like Bonsai Ichigo or like yes the uh, Ichigo which first showed up to the Sarate in the Soul Society like a threat to a tour degree? Hmm. Like in the Soul Society when Ichigo first showed up in there, wasn't he a threat to it immediately? Um, no. Okay. Each way he was able to do. This. Keep in mind the elite guard of Yuha were. Uh, passively making Bambian and Basby level Quincy's as strong as they were by sharing their powers with them throughout the entire war. Like, no. They were not. I don't know where no. you're getting this from. Like, no. I, like <laughs> I don't think you read the fucking Ash Wallen. But I'll, we'll, we'll read it out for the boys. We'll, don't worry, Clyde, we got you, buddy. We'll save you. I, I think I know where he got the information. Who? Uh, no, I said, I think I know where he got it from. He just made it to fuck up. Yeah. All right. So let, let's read, right? Bada yada yada. Um, Oshwellen goes down. Okay. Comrades, we help one another. Come back to life and move forward. Now brace yourself, squad zero. Okay. Now, uh, let's go. Really nice scene paralleling Yamamoto. Really nice scene. Okay. So, uh, what is that? Ash Wallen. Collecting the lies and powers of unnecessary frequency and distributing them to those who need it. A redistribution of power. Those that lose it, die. Those that receive it, gain additional power and come back to life. It's one of his majesty's powers. So let's say that uh, somehow the elite guard were sharing uh, powers via the Oshwalen. Well, that would mean that they would have to die. Or, right, that they're just like heavily weakened. And then like. Why go through the redistribution of power afterwards to do that if you're going to do it regardless? Like, he's doing this because they just got fucking murked. Like. This before even using his real power. I'm sure that it would take longer to accomplish these feats in this like weird bird form, but it's still pretty scary to think he's that strong. They're also pretty fast what? in this like weird. Oh, his okay. body is now very susceptible to being harmed, as shown by Kira. I don't. His body... What do you mean susceptible to being harmed? That just shows they're not powerful. Kira, like Ezru murks them. Not only does he murk his head, he also cuts in half what he's uh, forming as well. What he's attack attacking with. He is now very susceptible to being harmed as shown. Oh, great. I'm glad I've risen from the dead, but look around me. It's a mess. I have survived, but can I protect this place? We'll see. And yes, our boy really did. Our boy Izuru a whole G. This man, Mayuri, is a fucking dick, though. Izuru is literally still dead. He's still fucking dead, dude. Ezru's a fucking zombie right now. But Yuri's a dickhead for not reviving him. Actual dickhead. Shown by Kira. I'd also like he's to point out that during Lily Barra's battle... Him. Hmm? Said he's lucky my Yuri just didn't stick a bomb in him. He might have. Who knows? ...with Shunsui. Shunsui's Bankai is able to affect him, even though Lily Barra is clearly much more powerful, meaning it doesn't fall under the battle of spiritual pressure law laid out by Aizen when he talks to Soifon. That's not how that works. Just because you're stronger than somebody doesn't mean anything. Neither does this show that, like, oh, Lele is stronger than Shinsui at this point. Like, there's an actual zero indication that, Shin like, Lele is stronger than Shinsui in this state. Like, he literally decapitates the motherfucker. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Like, he... Like, what is there to indicate that he's weaker right here? 
in his next form, once Shun Tsui's exhausted, done all of his uh, steps into his Bankai, yeah, he pierces his stomach, and he's like, bro, fuck, I've given it all I can do. I guess I'll die now. Like, I is able to affect him, even though Lily Burrow is clearly much more powerful, meaning it doesn't fall under the battle of spiritual pressure. And as for this, it's literally when you're so much stronger than a person that you're able to do this. You don't just do this by being stronger than somebody. There will always be somebody stronger in a confrontation. Ichigo, Grim Zhao. For most of that fight, Grim Zhao is stronger than Ichigo. Ichigo isn't as strong, but he can still damage Grim Zhao and he eventually does defeat Grim Zhao. In the fight, Zomari and Byakuya. Byakuya is stronger than Zomari. However, Zomari is still able to affect him with his axe. Uh, Wait, did you Soy say Zomari versus Byakuya? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Damn it, I'm tired. I thought you fucking met my Yuri for a second there. No. Um, and we literally see this as well. Like, that you just have to be a lot stronger than somebody uh when um it's uh Sion Grants when he's uh fighting Kenpachi, he's not strong enough to actually just uh, uh crush his organs. Like he can if he uses a sword, but at that point he might as well just fucking attack him straight up and not use his packs on him. You have to be a lot stronger than somebody to just negate a hacks. Like, there will always be somebody stronger than a confrontation. Just being stronger, that's not how this works. Special law laid out by Aizen when he talks to Soifon. If you recall in the Soul Society arc... No. 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 Yamamoto states that he considers Ukitake... No! No! ...and Shunsui transcendent in battle and impressive together as a team. This was in reference to when they were younger. God dang. And obviously by this time, Shunsui has gotten stronger and Ukitake was containing the... Wait a minute. Hold up, bro. Hold up, 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 So y'all accept that our boy Shunsui should be stronger, right? What's the difference between this, right? And Shunsui trading... For the thousand year blood mark. Uh, well, what, what, what's going on, buddy? Hey, what's what's going on? Hey, man, something's not adding up. Clyde. What do you mean? I he thought really Shunsui didn't train. Are definitely relatable in power. I thought the spotter was still good. That's why you mentioned Star. <laughs> Uh, I don't. What? Oh, come on, dude. So, I do hear your previous statement. Doesn't like Yami beat up the elite guard to some degree? Since you know, Udahada doesn't grow stronger throughout the entire series. <laughs> we don't. We you can't use Clyde's other videos in other videos. This man's this man stuff is nowhere consistent. Ascendant in battle and impressive together. Yeah, bro. <laughs> This was in reference to when they were younger, and obviously by this time Shunsui has gotten stronger, and Ukitake was containing the Mimihagi inside of him, a power which even impressed Yuha Bark and scared all of the elite guard. No. Like, <laughs> Almighty, Almighty Yuha is stronger than the Mimihagi. Ukitake considers the release of Shikai Yamamoto transcendent. And when Kenpachi returns from his training in the Mukan, he himself has also reached transcendence, as he cannot be sent. Well, he already did that in Spirits of Forever with you, so if, if that was just a tear, then he already was in Spirits of Forever with you, and then he trains with Unahana, but now he's only just getting transcendent again, even though, you know, he was yeah, in Spirits. Don't you know, Kampachi just got weaker over time, and then he had to become transcendent again. Sense by normal Shinigami. There was a major emphasis by Shunsui to make sure Kenpachi was their nuclear bomb, otherwise the war would be lost. And for Shunsui as head captain to not be transcendent would be narratively odd, especially as he has naturally gotten stronger with age, compared to the statement which talks about him and his youth. 
This isn't to say he is always transcendent when walking around in base form, but only during the release of Bonkai. And Lily. Oh, what yeah. kind of dumbass <laughs> justif- Dude, hold up. The statement for him being transcendent is him in the in the academy, and he's not even releasing his Zanpak toe, bro. This is literally not even Shikai, Shunsui, and Jushiro. And they're- Come on, Sway. What you talking about? Bonkai? Can you even prove yeah. this nigga had Bonkai in the academy? Huh? Not even a yeah, but Bruh. really, what do you spot up? Yeah, he grew stronger through aging. What's the difference between that and training? Oh, no, 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 no. He's naturally more stronger with age, walking around in base form, but only during the release of Bonkai. And Lilibara survived all of its attacks and then transformed. Shunsui Shikai released. Regen. Peace against Star Crazy. made him as strong as some Shinigami going Bonkai. And if he is already a top 5% character, Wait. going Bonkai. Wait, what? Wait, hold up. What? Strong as all of its attacks and then transformed. Shunsui Shikai release against Stark made him as strong as some Shinigami going Bonkai. Yeah, that is true. And if he is already a top 5% character, going Bonkai. A top 5% character? Wait, what, like, do, what? what does that mean? What, like, what, okay. what? Like, there's a lot of characters in Bleach. I'm like, I guess he's top 5%, but I'm like. If you're talking about really top 5%, the cutoff would probably be niggas like fucking, like, the lieutenants. Or, like, fucking name third seats. If it's just top 5%, just based off of the amount of characters that we have in the series at this point. Like, there's just a lot of characters. I'm like, 5% isn't, isn't anything. Like, you, you, you would want to be like the one percent or like the point five percent or something i'm like five percent that just doesn't sound good honestly and getting an increase of around 10 times his power with his mastered bankai would definitely put him in the echelon that yamamoto described there's a reason yamamoto had such good words to say about shunsui and ukitake they are extremely talented upon the release of his zumpak toe 2 shunsui they i i guess Shunsui's Bankai shocks even Ichigo and gives him the chills. Someone who easily scales above this eyes and here, who is considered transcendent and couldn't be sensed by some of the strongest characters in the series. This is Ichigo after his training with the Zero Division, where he attains his real Zanpakuto powers. Point. So, uh, what you're saying, right, is <laughs> that Shunsui scales above Mugetsu. Or scales to Mugetsu, yes? Yes, I, no, I think you're saying like I no, 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 wait, 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 hold on. Because this is true Shikai Ichigo. Like, this nigga has the statements. I'm like, you have to at least have true Shikai Ichigo equal to Mugetsu. Unless uh, unless this nigga Clyde just out here saying uh, blight in cap. I'm like, I'm like, is, I'm like, no, I kind yeah. of interpreted what he said as condom Eisen is equal to Shikai Ichigo. Or true Ooh, Shikai. I'm like, Mm. That is bad That's phrasing. Exactly. Chills. Someone who easily scales above this eyes and here. No, no, no. He's like easily scales above. Who no. is considered transcendent and couldn't be sensed by some of the strongest characters in the series. This is Ichigo after his training with the Zero Division, where he attains his real Zanpakuto powers. Point being, Lily Barra is disgustingly strong and potentially in his second form could be considered transcendent. This nigga right here, bro. This man just be saying, throwing around the word transcendent like it means anything, right? Firstly. And then using it so weirdly, right? Since I'm like... Uh, since I'm like, alright, let, let, let's think about this, right? Let's think about this, right? So, uh, Shikai Shunsui isn't transcendent. He doesn't think that. He thinks Bonkai Shunsui is transcendent, right? But, so... He also says that, like, a master 10 times Bonkai. So, he thinks that Shunsui going from not being transcendent to transcendent is just 10 times, right? And I'm like, um... You have... <laughs> no. You have, like, this... Hold up. <laughs> 
fuck? Where's where's the fucking eyes? Well, you know, we can go in like the Soul Society and Bankai is no, 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 no. We, we'll, 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 we'll mention that in a second. We'll mention that in a second. Shalom that Yamamoto did. Okay, they are extremely talented. Gives him the tendon and couldn't. There it is. Yeah. So this this fucking condomizer right here, right? So like. He easily scales above this Aizen, right? So I'm like, Ooh. with true Shikaiichi, I'm like, how, where are you putting Shunsui, right? Do you think like these captains like Toshiro, right, are just less than 10 times away or just 10 times away from being transcendent? So like... This Aizen, like Condom Aizen right here, was only 10 times stronger than the captains. Or less than 10 times stronger than the captains? Question mark. Mm. That's it doesn't make sense since, was it base Aizen like dramatically stronger? Yeah, base Aizen actually one shot all of them. So he's already like, he's literally a, a Bonkai tier above them already. And I'm like, they can't send some, so he's transcendent. So I'm like, mm -mm. where are you at? Like, you're, you're using these like weird transcendent arguments, right? Like, like where are you actually putting them? Because you're mentioning um, Aizen in the same like vein as True Shikaiichi, and then we have like obviously. Um, this is second fusion Aizen. We have third fusion, fourth fusion, fifth fusion. We have uh, Dawn Guide, then we have Mugetsu, then which is equal to True Shikaiichigo. And I'm like, so what? So what are you saying? Like, what? What? Where are you actually placing him? And like, where are you like well, arguing this transcendent thing? Oh. Maybe let, let's look at some of his other videos takes. Like he did say like fifth fusion eyes and souls is zero division. So maybe he thinks like Trushi Kai Ichigo comparable to Ichibe, Ichibe below like fifth fusion. Bro, oh my god, I don't, I don't like I don't even know like what his Disgusting arguments are strong, very weird. And potentially in his second form could be considered transcendent. Before ending this Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Um so as we were saying before, as Prideful had mentioned, Bon Kaichi on the Soul Society arc is transcendent. Like, uh, this is this shit is god awful. I'm just saying transcendent. Transcendent doesn't be dog shit, bro. I'd like to say yeah. that this video so, was. It's a good point, isn't it, guys? Since they're both transcendent. <laughs> yeah, Bon Kaichi on the Soul Society versus Lile. I think this thing just needs to stop using the term transcendent. Probably it doesn't sponsored work. Sponsored by my good friend Marino. Please kindly check out all of his links below. Mm. Also, everything after this, I don't think is actually like scaling. All right. Mm. Um, um, actually, you skip just in case. Marino, like, skip past. Each individual's stamina, adaptability to the ray of all those, all living, they stray from. If anybody in the back. No. Okay, I guess he's just voice acting. Voice actor. Okay, but okay. So regardless, um, good Clyde for not saying this was Lily shooting. Um, we already talked about it. Yada yada yada. Transcendence doesn't mean anything. I don't know why you mentioning like Espada characters. Very bad. Like, and just for a reference, right? Just for a reference, how bad the Espada are. So, um, Stark is weaker than Yami. Yami is the Espada number zero. Uh, he has a Rage Amp that's 10 times. He also has uh, a Rage Amp that's two times. So, Yami is 20 times stronger than Stark. All right, cool. This isn't including like a Cero, a Grand Ray Cero, a Cero Oscuras, or any techniques he may use that is even more powerful than that. Not even factoring that. So, 20 times. All right. Tozen is above the Espada. All right. He has a Resurrection. Um... Uh, that is beyond a Bonkai. So I'm like, okay, let's just say Tosin equal. So 20. All right. These niggas scale below Ichigo. Uh, Mast Ichigo. Let's just say full bring Ichigo is only equal to FKT Ichigo, right? Let's just say that. All right, cool. He's just equal to him. Then we have 
uh, Ichigo healing, whatever. So full bring Bonkai Ichigo is fucking 40 times stronger than Stark. Like two times stronger being in the spring. And then he gets a... Uh, he gets another dimension of power by eating the food in the Zero Squad. So let's just say, like, that's fucking two times, right? Let's just, like, let's let's just lowball the fuck out of this, right? We, it's, this thing is Stark's almost a hundred times weaker than fucking Lele. Like, why are we mentioning Stark? We're, and this is just me just spitballing numbers, just lowballing the fuck out of shit, right? Yami 20 times. Tozen's above. He has a resurrection. Let's if we actually do five times, we're already at a hundred. Like we have our boy Ichigo boxing against up in Bonkai. He has a hollow mask. But let's just say equal. Like that's a hundred right there. Bro, multiple times stronger for full ring. Two times two hundred. Like two times again for for more shit. Like it gets to like a thousand very easily. Just just spitballing numbers. You shouldn't yeah. mention the Espada for Thousand Year Blood War characters, especially for the Elite Guard. It's very bad. Um, well, and this isn't even mentioning that, like, uh, Bobring should be about Mugetsu when it's mastered. Yeah, and that's not even mentioning that or the fact that Kenpachi uh, what scales above freaking Luke and Aizen. Uh, in spirits are forever with you this is also not to mention that Sion grant literally took mugetsu to the face and didn't die while dying on his ukiora shit literal blood turning into reishi dust so yeah to say the least but um also no viz of viz media slander viz media is uh 99% of the time gives you a good translation it's perfectly fine like, I don't know what, what this viz of fucking slander be. Regardless, though, uh, I like Lily's form. Just going, going through, yeah, Lily's through this shit. Yeah, powerful, probably, but he's definitely, like, no, this, isn't he, like, the weakest of the four guards? Um... You can make an argument that he's the weakest, but, uh, it's more consistent for him to just be, uh, the second weakest. Uh... Just in, so definitely know in base. He's below uh, Gerard. He should be below Pernida, and he should be below... Uh, he should be below Askin. Like, uh, if they actually fight, those three should just be Lele. But um, if you want to go by his statements, he would be uh, just above Askin, but Askin would still just beat him. You know, just throw gift ball like uh, yeah so i'm like uh lele is okay but makes sense it really isn't even transcendent <laughs> yeah but yeah uh i'm gonna hate that transcendent term yeah it's, it's just misused to hell but regardless um this was an okay video, I guess. I don't know. Um, I, I don't even know yeah. if it's an okay video. I think it's a bad video. I think it's a mediocre video. You could have done better, Clyde. Like you've literally, mm. you literally just started saying some stuff that's just blatantly untrue. But like, um, very weird. But regardless, so I hope y'all have a nice day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I said. So can we name it? What I suggested. At the start? No. <laughs>